that made me happy. Hello beautiful people. This video is a request video from Portalman X and he wrote Could you make a super version tutorial? It's my favorite tank, but it's very expensive to repair. I can definitely make a video about the tank, but I'm not sure how much of a tutorial it will actually be, but I can give you some pointers on the tank itself and at least you will see how I choose to play it. The basis for the super Pershing is a regular M26 Pershing and the Pershing was intended to be a replacement for the M4 Sherman. The name of the tank comes from General of the Army's John J. Pershing and he led the American Expeditionary Force in Europe in World War I. And by the way, if you're confused about why one is called M26 and the other one is called T26, the M stands for model, which is the one that actually went into production, and the T stands for service test, which is, as it sounds, meant for testing and not a production model. So only a very limited number were produced. Now the regular Persian saw very limited use in the Second World War, and it was used in Europe, and only the last couple of months of the war. It was however used a lot in the Korean War, and the Persian was taken out of service in 1951 and replaced with the M46 pattern. The main and obvious difference between the regular Pershing and the Super Pershing is the gun. The 90mm gun on the M26 Pershing was similar in performance with the Tiger One's 88mm gun, but the US wanted something to match the gun of the King Tiger, so they developed the T15E1 90mm gun, and in real life it could pen the frontal armor of the Tiger One beyond 3000 meters a Panther's frontal armor up to 2600 meters, and when they tried to shoot at a Jagdpanzer IV, it went straight through it and impacted on the ground behind it. So an incredible powerful gun. And here, as you can see, the ammunition for the Tiger I on the left and the ammunition for the M26 Pershing on the right are pretty similar. Both the weight of the shell, the velocity, and the armor pin on both rounds are pretty similar. The biggest difference is definitely the explosive mass, and it's basically uh, over twice as large on the M26 ammo compared to the Tiger's. You can match the TNT content of the shell on the Tiger, but you need to use another shell, and that uh, has a penalty of a uh, slightly reduced armor pin. Upgrading to the King Tiger on the left, and the super pershing on the right again you can see similar values on the shell same weight almost same mass velocity and again you almost have twice the explosive mass on the american round compared to the german one but if you look further down on the tnt equivalent it's not twice as much in real effect but it's still more on the american one if you look further down on the armor pin here the german round has a slight advantage it's not great but it's still present the Super Persian's gun definitely match, in general, the gun of the King Tiger. When we are talking about how much ammo to bring, I think the best number is 15. But of course, uh, if you look at uh, my uh, videos, or um, the matches in this video, I am bringing much more than that. But in that case, I just wanted to be sure, and I didn't really know uh, where I would go. But the safest number is 15. Uh, let me show you why. In the turret you have a ready rack that has 10 rounds and if you bring one more uh, rack with you, that's 15, that will fill up one rack at the very bottom of the tank and it will leave the rest of them empty. Now if you noticed how it uh, starts uh, replenishing the ammo rack, let me show you something. So you fire one round. And then it needs to reload first, and then after a few seconds after it reloaded, it will start replenishing. So as you can see here, you have spent one round from the ready rack, and then after a few seconds, it will start replenishing. And what it does is it takes uh, a round from the rack at the bottom of the tank, and it fills it up in the ready rack in the turret. And let me just see if we can actually see it happening yep there we go 
And that's what's happening, if in case you were wondering. So only a single Super Persian was shipped and saw combat in Europe in World War II. And soldiers being soldiers, they want to make sure not to lose the precious tank in the first engagement. So they decided to do some field upgrading on the armor. They welded a piece of frontal armor from a destroyed Panther's tank straight onto the mantlet and just cut holes for the gun, gun sight and coaxial machine gun. They also added some structural steel later to the turret that looked like airs and they added two layers of structural steel on the front of the tank as you can see here 38mm and 38mm and beyond that the regular tank's armor with a thickness of 106 millimeters. So if you have followed my channel and seen some of my other videos whenever I'm doing some tank battles, I always use uh, the branches and whatnot on my tank uh, for camo, both to hide myself and also to cover the weak spots. And you actually have a couple of seconds more reaction time from the enemy whenever you use it, so I think it's worth it. It doesn't look so good, so if you like the aesthetics of the tank, which I also do, don't use it, but if you want to protect yourself, definitely go for it. Now, and I definitely use it and suggest you use it on a tank like this. Because it has some weak spots, you need to know where they are, but even a lower ranked tank can actually pin this guy. Even from the front. So, I picked out the Panzer IV, which is at 4.0, just an example. So, you have several weak spots. Of course, one of the most obvious one is the vertical stabilizer because it has basically no armor right, 22 millimeters. So if you hit that one, you are actually forcing uh, the player to reverse and fix him. Otherwise, you can't um, use the gun vertically. Another weak spot is a little bit more difficult to hit, but it's there just below the driver's visor. Viewport, try to look at this. And try to how thin it actually is. 66 millimeters. Another weak spot is right over here, right over the protection. They added on armor. This whole line here from the front, try to look at this. Even with this round, 105 millimeters. And you can actually potentially one shot the tank or definitely cripple it if you hit it at the right spot. You actually uh, has a big chance to detonate the ready rack ammo if you hit and it's just basically this 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 eye you're looking at right here and boom. Well you can potentially one shot it. And if you get it at a slight angle, then these cheeks are pretty vulnerable. 107 millimeters. And you can pin the tank from there too. So adding those uh, ears is definitely useful. So if you see a tank like this, just shoot below them. So up close, where you can actually see those weak points, they are definitely worth uh, trying to avoid getting hit. So if you have a tank, up close and you are in this guy definitely start rotating that turret so you're getting more of this armor facing towards him because this will just alright kill you. Even from a 75mm gun of the Panzer IV. So it's something to look out for. A couple of quick things that I want to mention. The gun is not stabilized, so it's actually not a broader tank, even though it has some added armor. You can use it as such, and a lot of the maps you are on in War Thunder, you are always getting into a close quarter combat, whether you like it or not. But the gun is best used at a longer range where it can really shine. And that also brings me into another thing. The reload is pretty slow, 14.4 seconds, and if you quickly look at my crew, look at the tank loader. He is maxed out, so even with a maxed out tank loader without having thrown either silver lines or golden eagles after it for qualifications, it's still 14.4 seconds. 
So every time you're taking a shot, I suggest you uh, back up into cover or around a corner, wait until the reload and then forward again. The stat sheet says 40 km an hour. I don't think I've ever reached that speed. It's usually 30, 32 or so, especially in terrain. And the engine is not really that strong, so you'll have issues with uh, climbing too steep an angle. It's uh, quite slow actually. We have a very nice gun depression for such a big gun, 10 degrees, and that will definitely help you if you're fighting at longer ranges on a hillside. And as an extension, it will also help you uh, keep most of your tank hidden behind the hill. The second vehicle I'm bringing out is the F2G1. It's basically named, well, the nickname is Super Corsair. So it's a Corsair with a suit up engine. And there's a couple other differences, namely that you don't have as much ammo with this machine as you would with the regular Corsair, you only have 1800 rounds, and they do kind of go pretty quickly. You have a decent secondary bomb load, you can bring some tiny Tims, some 1000 pound bombs, some h vars, 500 pound bombs, and 250 pound bombs. Something I want to mention about the secondary weapon load, fortunately you can drop the bombs one at a time, and that's actually a pretty a nice thing to have, otherwise you would have uh, one bomb drop, then back to machine guns, or you would have to return to base in order to get a couple of bombs more. So that's a huge plus. You can drop bomb one at a time, that gives you potentially, well, two tanks to kill. Another thing is that the HVARs at this level, they are not really that effective. And uh, in this video, I actually don't think I used the HVARs at all. I only use the bombs, because the rockets, even if I hit, and they're actually easy to hit with, they're good rockets, but they just don't have enough armor pin to do anything. I hit Panthers over and over and over again to no avail. In order to score a kill on a tank at this BR, you either need to do a top side down attack, where you attack the turret from the top, or hit the rear of the tank, or you need to get lucky, sadly. So if you decide to bring them along, uh, the best uses for these rockets at this level of this BI is definitely just try to kill SPAAs with them. And of course they'll be great at that. This plane sits in a kind of a funny place or a weird place. On one hand, in the full down tier, you can uh, outrun pretty much everything there is um, at low altitude anyhow. And at up tiers you're facing jets and then you're going to be faced with another problem. So whenever you face somebody in down tier and you get into trouble, you can outrun them and then just boom and zoom. But if you're in an up tier game against jets, you can forget about outrunning them, but instead you actually need to outturn them, which is kind of a strange way you need to mix and match depending on what BR you are up against. And the way you get this plane is through the battle pass at uh, rank 50. Let's see if I can even find it down here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. And it is free, so when or if you got to rank 50, you, you got a coupon. And uh, I thought about just uh, not using the coupon and selling it, but seeing how my aviation tree is going, this was actually perfect for me. As you can see right here, it sits right there. So everything f up to uh, rank 5 will get the benefit of twice the research rate. And uh, as you can see here, I have not even touched rank 5 yet. So every time I'm in a 6-3 or 6-7 game, I'm definitely going to bring out this plane. Not for performance, but mostly for the research benefits. We have arrived on the Normandy map and let's see what we can see and do rather. I actually think I should have driven further uh, on the outside of the town and then being able to hit more sideways uh, onto Bravo instead of what I'm doing right now. I should think this was a mistake. Oh, did he just get hit? Well, luckily your squad is here, if you can survive it. Uh, 
Oh, that's one. <coughs> one second. Almost ready. Keep yourself alive. I kind of screwed myself over, I think. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, I need to stay behind this guy. So I can, uh... Protect myself. I'm a turret. So, what just happened? Did it just hit the graphics in front of me? I just think I did. Trying again. Damn it. Need some help, guys. That's one. Well, I'm pretty happy that my squad die right there. It does keep me uh, alive. Uh, yeah, dude, I would not have been standing there knowing what you were facing. There we go, okay, so I got two right, but there's still that uh, panther who was smart enough to deploy smoke and then just turn his turret and uh, move away. Okay. Uh, let's see. Left, right. I think I'm gonna move forward. Ah. <laughs> Oh, that's not a good place to hold. Uh, now what? Uh. Damn it! Well, I need to turn my turret just a little. Uh, okay. Well, he can't see anything either. But neither can I. There we go. Right behind the flames. Okay, now I would actually like to go in and get a new crew member. Wow, I really like this reverse speed this thing has. I actually think I'm sacrificing a good spot right here. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I think I'm gonna press on. 
knowing that uh, that we can't have them flank. Uh, so let's see what we can see. I'm a little afraid for my tight little bot bot. But whatever. Okay. Ah. Pretty sure there's movement up front. There's always people hiding or can't be hiding in that uh, courtyard. Damn it, damn it. Okay. I was too slow for a side shot, but still got the very weak uh, frontal armor just next to the mantle. How are we doing? Ooh, oh crap, we're doing very well. Okay. We are losing. Yeah, I'm getting pretty close to the spawn and I think I'm alone, so I think I'm gonna get a uh, ganged up upon soon. Or flanked or whatnot. But I'm quite happy with the slow pace I'm using here. I think it actually saves my butt. Yeah, see this is... I can hear something up here. In front of me. I just think it's necessary. He's coming up behind me, I think. Is that guy moving? Oh yeah. Uh, there's somebody over there. Ugh, who drove past me? Yeah, over here. I'm not sure where he went, but I can hear them over here somewhere. So I should probably go after him. Oh crap. Right up here. Okay, that guy's gone. Somebody up on Charlie. Uh, that's eight. Moving up slowly, and I have reloaded again. So there's somebody up here. Dude, he's right there. Go away, smoke. Okay, his crew is gone. Let me give it another shot. This should be it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be up here anymore. 
This is actually... Well, they're still continuing rolling forward. Oh, see him. Uh... Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was a double ace in this monster. Holy crap. Uh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay, Google Blitz. Well, I'm super happy about that. I never thought I would uh, get a double kill, uh, double ace like this in this beast. Oh. Uh, Good game. Well, it looks like I'm the only one out here on the flank right now. And it looks like we already have been pressed back some. Okay, right there. Can I see anything? I can see the muscle blast, but... Okay, there he is. But, can I get a shot through that? Oh! <laughs> Pretty glad I got him removed. Backing up to uh, reload. There we go. Well, let's try and move up then. T-92 is up also. And again, I don't really know how far I need to go. I think this is okay. Famous last words. Uh oh. Ah, uh, leopard one. So I guess it's a 7 3 game. So. I'm guessing what I'm hearing is. Is that a bad is that our guy? I'm actually not sure. Okay, there's somebody way out there trying to flank. Better mark him just in case. Is that ours moving up there? No. Come on, give me your turret. Thank you. I thought I heard something. Um. So I think I'm gonna stay here for just for a little bit. I think my left side is somewhat protected. Oh, sorry, my right side. And I just got a guy on the left. But there's still that guy out there flanking like crazy. I'm not sure where he is or what he's gonna do. Um, so there's still a pretty good chance that I'm gonna get flanked. Uh, let's just pretend he's not there and move up. Otherwise, I'm just gonna think about it and not do anything about it. I don't want to spend the rest of my game just looking for that guy either. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Over there somewhere. Yeah. Uh oh. So he got whacked from the front. 
Over there somewhere. Right there. There we go. Nice. So what is he looking at? Oh, he just got shot, whatever that was, I think. But there's still that threat from that guy over there, though. Let me just move forward a little, at least my butt will be, uh, my left side will be uh, somewhat secured. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that was our guy. I just... Oh, but that's not our guy. No, oh, no. It was right there, I think. Ah, uh, Yeah, just a second too late. I did forgot it. Did he get him? It was a panther, so... I think that was the guy that just got shot. But I'm not 100%. Yeah, there are not that many left. See the fire from the anti-aircraft, but I don't see him in there somewhere. Well, I guess I need to go in there. I don't really don't want to. Just saw something in there move. Got a good whack on him. Not really enough to do anything, but... Well, if he's showing again... I'm gonna give, uh, give him it another shot. He's not gonna, I think. Maybe he doesn't know what this is, but I am, though. And since I don't have any AAA, I can't really do anything about it. There we go. Uh oh. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, okay. Five kills, that's fine. Maybe I can get up in a plane now, then. Time for something I don't really want to do. Oh. Oh, actually, uh... Huh. Got an assist on him. Ah, damn it, that's a f jet somewhere. Well, good thing that he can't turn at all, so that's the comforting part. So where is that guy over there? I really want to get rid of my bombs. Right down there. Oh, never mind. Did I do anything? Ooh, nice. It actually got him. Sweet. The plane that cannot turn. Uh, oh, let's get rid of that bomb. Oh. 
Well, he's gone. Ah, wonder if I got the kill still. So we are here once again on the Normandy map, and uh, I had a very, very fortunate round last time, uh, and I'm pretty sure I can duplicate that again. But let's see what I can do. Oops, gonna take a slightly different route this time. And this is a full out here. This is a sorry, at least maybe not a full out here, but it's a 7.0 game. I think people are saying, ugh. Made a fire on whatever that was. Put him back to reload, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get flanked from. Yep, flank from up there. Damn it. Oh. Woo, I got lucky that could I could hear him. Oh sh crap, another one over there. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, that's the other guy. Did he burn down? Is that somebody right there? Is that a building? Oh. Uh. Ah, oh, I just nicked him. That's not good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. Let me just go back here and uh, repair. There we go. Oh, damn it. Oh, oh, that was lucky. That was super lucky. Thank you, T thirty four, for covering my butt. Up front, for that matter. That rule come just came charging around the corner. That was cool looking. Okay, back in business. So I'm tempted to go to uh, uh, Charlie to get a crew replacement, but I thought you saw something right up there. So when I'm moving forward now, I can tell myself, I can tell myself, I told you so in a second if I'm gonna get a shot on my, uh, from a, from this flank. Uh, another little rule. Pulling back to, uh, Okay, we're ready again. Moving up again. So we have killed off. Uh, only two of them have left. That's sad. I hope it would be more. Okay, that's our guy. I was already starting to worry. So two corpses up ahead. Oh. Okay. Come on. There we go. Okay, backing up a little again to repair. I love repair. Jesus. Reload. Should be enough. Ah, I think I was right with whatever. I hope the T80, T92 can take care of whatever is up there. Oh, he just got whacked. Nice. 
Oh, and we lost the T92 up there, I think. Didn't we? I think we did, but we have more people. Oh. Somebody's in my flank. Oh, yes. Go up that hill. Oh no, where did he go? Okay, engine is out. Nice, 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 nice. Oh crap, another one coming up. Up, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Four kills, one assist. That was actually very fun down here. Okay, playing time. Okay, we are getting close to the AO and... Looks like there's two planes up on that F8F. Now he can turn like, I don't know what, but... Oh, well... Ugh. He lost that one. Although he's crippled the... 262. So that's at least something. And I don't know if it's true, but I think they are pretty badly off once they are crippled like that. So I just need. What is that? Something out here? Uh, that's probably uh, um, ah, two eight eight. No, it's not. It's uh, just a regular little donkey, I think. Uh, look at my bombs. I'm just gonna f mess this up. Never mind. Yeah. Figured that would happen. Okay, so let's see. Something down here. He's stationary, so maybe if I'm lucky. Let me get a bomb off on that guy. Uh, I think overshot. Nope, I got him. Oh, and it was a. Uh, Tiger 2, that was nice. Oh, there's something else up. What is that? I'm not sure, but it's shooting at me. Oh, it's the Donier file. Well, I can outturn him all day. Uh, so I'm not really worried about that. But he uh, is actually super dangerous with his cannons. Crit on him. Okay. They got him shut down. Is that it? That's the last hurrah. Yeah, okay. That, that was pretty fun. That was it for this little video, I've left some links in the video description below, both for other relevant videos on the channel, and for other ways for you guys to support the channel, if you wish to do so. Until next time, remember to deploy your dive breaks, have a good one.